Okay, so now you have finished your circumcision, and at the end of the circumcision, I put a dressing on the penis. The first level is this yellow gauze called xeriform gauze that we put around the incision so as to protect it and also prevent the gauze from sticking to the wound. That's a really important first level. Then after that, we'll wrap it with a regular gauze, although a little bit neater than what I'm doing here. And then finally, I'll use what's called coband, which is a stretchy gauze. And I'll make this a little bit tight. But as you can see, the tip of the urethral meatus, where you urinate through, is open. Now, if this part of the penis turns dark purple or dark blue, then just simply loosen up the coband and then reapply it more, to, more loosely. And then at the very end, we put a little piece of tape. Now, after two days, if this dressing doesn't fall off on its own, what you'll do is take off the tape, take off the coband, take off the white gauze, and then take off the yellow gauze. And then you'll throw that away, and we give you dressing supplies so that you can put the, a new yellow gauze back on. And then you can put a new white gauze. And then you have some coban, or you can reuse the coban that we gave you. And then you can gently rewrap the penis. Now, after that, you should change your dressing every day. At that point, you won't need the zero form. You'll probably just want to use a little bit of gentle gauze just to protect the incision so that it doesn't get uh, damaged or traumatized. And you want to check this and change it maybe once or twice a day. But after that, you should be totally fine. The and little um, sutures, they'll absorb over one to four weeks, and you'll check in with us on the second week. Thank you.